I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy but also, our children are being raped and molested, man. And our children at a young age are having sex at a young age. And black man, and black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, you have to, you have to watch your child. You have to attend your, your child much closer. But because you feel safe in this filthy, disgusting place called America, you think you're doing a, you think you're doing a good job. You are doing a piss poor job if you have caught your daughter at eight years old and twelve years old, with her news in her and her phone, and she texts a young and she texts a young boys about sex. What the hell she know about sex? And she eight years old, ten years old, eleven years old. You must do a better job raising your child. And 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 the, and the, and the and where are you gonna get it from? How are you gonna learn to raise your child? We gotta come back to the guidelines of the laws and statutes of the Bible, man. This is where you're gonna learn. To, this is where you're gonna learn to raise your children. Go ahead and read. This is Deuteronomy chapter six and six. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. What is these words? These words are the commandments. The commandments where like no black man or no Latino is supposed to smoke anything or do any drugs. The commandments where no black or no Latino is supposed is supposed to eat any pork, crab, chip, or lobster. The, the words when God spoke with no black man or no Latino to celebrate any pagan holiday. Right. A pagan holiday is Christmas, disgusting Christmas, disgusting, ho disgusting Halloween and Easter. Those holidays your forefathers and ancestors did not know of, black man. Black men never celebrated Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas until we were under an oppressor, man. Until we were conquered by an evil Caucasian race. Before that, we celebrated, we celebrated whole high holy days in the Bible, like Hanukkah and the Feast of Dedication and the, and the memorial of the blowing of trumpets, man. But today, because we follow after the disgusting culture of America, we now are punished by God because we follow the sins of America, man. Our, this, this, er, earlier this week, a young girl had an iPhone. The young girl was only about nine, ten years old. Now, now these days, our children can, can, can download audio books to their iPhone. So, the, so her, she got her friend to download a, an audio book to her iPhone. Her friend finds nudes, her, her naked pictures in her phone. So she tells the teacher, teacher, this little girl, you know, my friend has nudes in her iPhone. And now the, and now the teacher held, held the girl at school until her parents came to the school, man. What is going on? What's going on is black man and black woman, you, are, you thought you were being a, a perfect parent. But if you are following American culture, you are doing a piss poor job as a parent, man. We gotta, we gotta tell the truth. We are not good parents as long as we are Christian. We are not good parents as long as we worship America, man. In order for you to be a good parent, you gotta teach your child the right way. And you gotta teach your child that America is disgusting, man. That America, that America teaches drug culture. America teaches our sons to be gay and teaches our women to be whores, man. Our children must know the place that we live in. 
Because if our children walk around in America thinking that it is, it is safe, that's when they are molested. That's when they are raped. That's, that's when they are deceived and thinking America is a good place. When America is a place, a disgusting place, that is going to be burned by God because of their sins, man. Read on. Verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. You got to teach your children what? Go ahead. And shall talk talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. When you sit in your house, you're supposed to tell your child uh, about how evil America is and how they, how they should not follow America's, America's culture. Read on. And when thou walkest by the way, and when you walk in, and when you walk it down the street with your child, you suppose, and if you if you see any if you see anything evil, tell your child not to do that. If you walk it down Chinatown and you see a transsexual, you tell your child that is wrong. Tell your child that God don't make no mistakes. That a, a, if a man is born a man, then he's a damn man. If a woman is born a woman, she's a woman, man. God don't make any mistakes, man. If you see, if you, if you walk down the street with your child, man, and you and you see any kind of um, gay acts, tell your child that God said that homosexuality is an abomination. That's what you're supposed to tell. That's what you tell yourself. If you walk it, by the way, with your child and somebody's smoking, you tell your children that smoking is wrong. That smoking is wrong, and God does not like it, man. Tell your child that. Make your children safe, man. Our children are, are not safe in America because we are too comfortable with America's filthy culture, man. We, we, have, we have taken on America's holidays and culture as our own. But black men, our ancestors and forefathers don't know a damn thing about Christmas. They don't know a damn thing about Halloween. They don't, what they, what, they don't know about homosexuality, man. Read on. And when thou liest down, and when your child lay down, make sure your child is praying to the Most High God when he's laying down. Make sure your child knows the prayer. Make sure he prays for protection. Make sure he prays that black and Hispanic people wake up to who their enemy is. And that they wake up and now that, and now, and that, and that he prays for blacks and Latinos to have a safer community. And black man, you're not going to have a safe community until you, until you wash yourself of America's culture. You're not going to have a safe community until you wash yourself of America filthy drugs. Until you wash yourself of America's evil holidays, man. Go ahead. And when thou risest up, and when your son wake up, make sure he wake, make sure your son wakes up, he does another prayer. Make sure he does another prayer. Make sure when he leaves out that he makes you proud. And the only way your son and your daughter is going to make you proud is if they follow God and follow the laws of God. Not if they're Christian and they say they love God with their lips, but if they open up the Bible and read the laws and follow the laws. That's when your child will make you, that's when your child will make you proud. You thought your child was making you proud when they got their diploma and when they got their PhD and bachelor's. That's good and dandy. But if your child gets your, your, your child can have a PhD and still be gay, which is an abomination against God. Your child can still be can still be in college and still be a drug dealer, which is a which is against God, man. Make sure your child is against all evil, man. If you black or Latino, you are chosen children of God. Do not sell the white man's drugs. Let him sell his own drugs. Let him do his own evil. Let the white man celebrate his own evil, disgusting holidays, which is nothing but false idol, false god worship, man. Go ahead. Verse 8. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand. Give me, drop that. Where you at? You at Deuteronomy? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 23, verse 17. Our, our little children are growing up too fast and growing up too fast. And the reason they're growing up too fast at the age of eight and at the age of nine is because they are influenced. We gotta understand that our children are like sponges, man. Meaning what? Our children are gonna be influenced and suck up anything they, that they are, they are around. They are gonna be influenced by their surroundings. Black man, you are a holy child who is surrounded by evil, man. Surrounded by evil day in and day and night. Day in and night. And we gotta learn how to fight the evil that we are surrounded. 
surrounded by. Not embrace it. Not embrace the whore culture. Not embrace the gay culture. But to fight against it. And to tell the children that it, that it is wrong. And that God hates it, man. That is our issue. The issue, we have, we have never fought the, the long cycle of, of black children being molested, man. Black, the molestation is huge and popular in a black and Latino community. Black man, Hispanic man, a black woman, you were supposed to stop that. If you are if you are 20 year old, 30 year old, 40, 50 year old with a child, and you know your sister and cousin and friend and you got molested, your job with your child is, is, is to start something new. To have your child not go through the same thing, the same evil and the same harm that you went through or have your child receive the same harm that was done unto you, black man. But because we follow Christianity and but because we love America too much, we, love, we, we, we allow the same harm to happen to us years ago, we allow it to now happen again to our child. We will, you, will never break the, you will never break the chain and cycle, the long cycle in history of rape and molestation until you teach your child differently, man. We will, never, we will never break the long chain of being drug addicts until we look at ourselves and say, you know what, we are gonna be the last drug addicts. My son and my daughter is not gonna be a drug addict. They will not participate in America's drug culture, man. Until, until, until we are that way, we are not gonna change. And our children are gonna grow up drug addicts. Our children are gonna grow up being touched being raped and being molested because we have not cared about our children much. Uh, we are not attentive, uh, we are not close in attending our children close enough, man. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and 17. There shall be no whore. There shall be no what? You are supposed, supposed to teach your daughter this. Read. There shall be no whore. And teach your son this. Read. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. What is sodomite? A sodomite is a gay man, black man. God said you are not, a, your daughter, our daughters are not allowed to be, allowed, not allowed to be whores. If you are a black or Latino woman, you are the best woman on the damn earth, man. Nobody look better than you, nobody smell better than you, nobody cook better than you, no woman is smarter than you, black woman and Latino woman. But because we are influenced by our oppressors culture, we have, we have turned our back against God. And now we, as, as women, grow up uh, being influenced by whores. This is, this is how it happens. A black man sees a, a white man, a rich, evil white man, he sees a beautiful young black girl and gives her a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, gives her a million dollars and say, you know what, black woman, you beautiful. If you, if you take a picture on the front of the magazine, and poke your behind out and show your breasts. I'll pay you. I give you a million dollar contract. But you know what? It's a long chain. Of, uh, it's a long chain of unfortunate events because now that black woman who's in that magazine, her daughter and our daughters are going to see that, and our daughters are going to be influenced by that. So now my daughter, and your daughter, is going to want to be in the front of the magazine. She is going to be the one that's going to want to wear a thong. She is going to be the one that wants to twerk in a music video as black man. How do we stop it? You stop it by you being the last sinner. We, we, have, we have sinned, but we have children who are young. And who, who, we have children who are young, and we are supposed to teach them to never do the evil that we have done. That's how you, that's how you raise a new nation and a new generation to be better than us. Not to not to let to let the next generation go through the same pain, the same harm, and the same uh, drug addiction that we went through. We are stupid. We have we have failed at our jobs as parents. As long as we do not teach our teach our children the commandments and laws of God. Read on. Thou shalt not bring the hot. Verse seventeen. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. There shall be no whore of the daughter of Israel. No black woman 
as precious as you are, you are not allowed to be no whore. And we have failed because our daughters are now whores, man. And if they're not waiting until they're 20 or whatever, our daughters and our sons are becoming homosexuals and becoming whores at the age of 11 years old. What are we going to do about it, huh? What are we going to do? Are we going to say, you know what? When I was 11, you know, I, I lost my virginity. When I was 14, I lost my virginity. So you know what? It's fine for my daughter to lose her virginity. Or are we going to stand up and say, you know what? We're going to change this generation, man. We're going to change the generation and make them better. And, ha and, and what are, are we going to teach them what we learned? Let, let, us be, let, let us be the ones that made the mistakes and learn from our mistakes. Let the new generation learn from our mistakes, man. And you chastise them and make them respect and understand what the hell is going on to our people and what this oppressor is doing to our people, man. Go ahead. Nor sodomites are the sons of Israel. And black man, you was a warrior, black man. You are a damn warrior. What the hell are you what, what the hell are we doing being a sissy? What the hell are we doing letting another man have sex with us? It's because we we doing that because we have been influenced by evil Roman culture. America's culture is nothing more than Roman's culture. America is baby Rome. And we all know that Rome was very, very, very gay. Very much into orgies. All types of homosexual, man. Them soldiers, them Roman soldiers were gay. They were not into women like black men and Latino women. Latino men are into women. These, men, these soldiers were gay. The Roman, the Roman politics were gay. And them Spartans were gay. They were into orgies, black man. Right. And they brought that orgy culture to America and black men. We have embraced that orgy culture. That was our mistake. Our mistake was embracing this evil Roman culture. Right. Which is now this evil, disgusting American culture, man. That's right. If you want to be better, we got to cleanse ourselves of this evil American culture. You got to teach your child, man. Where you at? Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.